Edward Christopher Sheeran, the real king of England, has released his new album. It's either called Minus or Subtract. I'm hearing it called Subtract. Listen, there's no secret that I did not like Ed's previous album. I've not liked a lot of his music for a long time, but I go in with an open mind. I say now, I also reserve the right to skip tracks if they're killing me. But no, I go in with an open mind. Don't cut on the Patreon, as always. Let's, let's see what we got. Now, this song... Came in for the embers. Boat, I believe that we uh, heard it on Twitch Stay stream a couple of weeks ago, and I quite liked it. What do I breathe? Oh, I know. The more that I love, the less that I feel. The times that I jump never were real. But the waves won't break my boat. Yeah, I actually like the lyrics of the song. They're, they're very universal as what well. Ed typically tries to do with all of his music. But um, just that image of the, the waves not breaking his boat. He's been through a lot, you know, losing his friend, losing another friend, all sorts. So, um, yeah, I think if we're going to get an album of this more stripped back production, him and a guitar, I think that's what we need right now. But Equals was horrible. Wind rush through the trees, I keep my eyes peeled. Memories. Interestingly produced by Aaron Desner of The National, who will know from working a lot with Taylor Swift recently as well. Interesting, I don't know if he's involved with the whole project. Oh, I know, the more that I love, the less that I feel. The times that I jumped never were real, but the waves won't break my Yeah, I'm going to go and say that that's the best song he's put out in years, to be honest. Just listening to it again. The message of it, the the humility of it, the um, the imagery. I brought up the lyrics and he said he wrote it by the English seaside in um, terrible weather. I live by the English seaside and it's often terrible weather. So you've got that little bit of personal relatability here. But I've always said when Ed is just singing from the heart, when it's a bit more stripped back, when it's not seemingly trying to be the number one song, it may end up being the number one song in a million countries, but... It doesn't feel like it's necessarily sort of manufactured to be that. And that's what I felt like the previous album was, almost from front to back. I I'm going to be a fan of the music, even if it's not something that I'm going to spin all the time. So let's see what the rest of the album holds. But, you know, from what you guys are saying online, from the fact that Aaron Dessen is definitely producing the second track, which I've also brought up, I've got my fingers crossed, to be fair. Still so far to go And I can't feel my toes When the rain soaks through the hills and slips to the soul Oh, and when it's time to go With one last breath that's in my lungs Scream it's all for love Water mm. Oh, finally I feel it Three or four degrees I'm free in soul Isn't it amazing as the rain starts to pour down now, kind of apt. Isn't it amazing how pulling the production back and just being a bit more subtle and nuanced actually lends a track like this so much more power? Kind of harrowing song about suicide by walking into the sea. I mean, I think that's what it's about, right? Kind of following on from the previous track. Quite a heavy, yeah, heavy track so far. Come kiss me soft. It was just a dream. It was just a dream. Gazing into hell. Damn. Or is it something else? I just can't tell. Come and kiss me so <laughs> Turn the rain. So obviously there is this kind of direct lyrics about drowning in the salt water, walking into the salt water. But also classically, you know, there's elements of, of sort of rebirth, you know, an old life dying and a new life beginning when bathing, baptizing, I guess, in the water. So 
I mean, it almost feels like that musically so far. Um, the next track, Eyes Closed, I, we did hear it on stream. It's got 81 million streams. It said cheer and that happens. I remember not liking it at all on stream, but, you know, again, I'll go in with an open mind this time. I'm in a better mood. Ed's put me in a better mood. Okay, Aaron Desner, Fred again. I know he's been involved with uh, plenty of Ed's music in the past, and I know he has an album out today. We're going to check that out on stream, so if you're seeing this, follow the Twitch. I know it's a bad idea, but how can I help myself? Been inside for most this year. And I thought a few drinks, they might help me so hard Or how can it be this heavy? Every song reminds me you're gone And I feel the lump form in my throat So I believe this song is about Jamal Edwards Obviously he did the, um, the track on SBTV which was fantastic Best thing he'd done in years And this is already shaping up to be that And knowing that this is about that Just dancing with my eyes closed Listen, I don't like that, that chorus. Fine. It's a sad song, but I'm not going to try and pretend that I like it musically. I just don't. Hit like a train. I ran out of words. I got nothing to say. Reaching for you to tell me how. How my life goes on with you, God. I suppose I sing like a stone if you leave me now. Damn, uh, it's got me. It's got me emotional on a Friday. Listen, it's not a song I want to listen to very often, given the subject matter, given what's been going on in his life. This feels like way more authentic to me than anything he's put out in years. Um, but also, yeah, I mean, he's making it relatable to everybody, which is a skill and a, you know, gift that he has. But it's quite heavy, man. I was expecting to just go in and just be a bunch of pop music that I didn't like, but it's, it's quite heavy going, to be honest. I think it's beautifully produced, it's beautifully sung, beautifully played. Some very nice melodies in there. Some of that reminded me of Thinking Out Loud, but he's not going to get sued for copying his own song. I heard you calling and my eyes are open Finger Start a discussion to pick a singer This one you'll love it, I have to bring her. Just let the speakers take you away Drop the needle on Dusty Frost on the leaves like a lake. Listen, I assume this is referencing Dusty Springfield and not Dusty Rhodes, the wrestler who used to wear the polka dots. Rest in peace to both. Yeah, there's seemingly uh, a song about his daughter, which is very sweet. I'm enjoying the, um, the sort of ocean imagery that's going throughout the album. It's not exactly the most nuanced of metaphors, but I think it works. Musically, I'm not, you know, I'm not in love with the song, but it's a sweet we song about his daughter, you know, I'm a sucker for that. There's more than sadness we've got Let's put some color into the gray Drop the needle on dusty Frost on the leaves like a late The moment came out of nothing Nothing was static on the 
Yeah, I mean, mid as fuck, but it's a sweet song, like I said, it's torture, but yeah, it's rubbish. I've been depressed since you left, tried to fill the hole with wine, stop the drugs when she came, and we're not even halfway there. Is this the ending of our youth when pain starts taking over? I just don't know if I used with arms and hearts so wide open. Blimey, it's just pretty heavy going in it. It's a heavy going track. Knows what they want, so I just give you what I feel. If I slip and get high, I know the low is always near. When I'm down, I never see you. When I'm up, you all appear. It's been a long I can never just let it go. Everything's falling apart. When love is real, there's never closure. I guess it's so part of life. Very, very, very different as a record to Equals. Very different. We'll divide. What was it called? It was Equals, isn't it? Ed's been going through it. He lost his very, very good friend. His wife was diagnosed with an illness. And he's putting it all on wax in a way that feels more authentic than anything I've heard from him in years. Like, years. And years and years since he was very young before he even was massive so i don't want him to have gone through that stuff to get to this point but there's no doubting that the majority of this album so far is significantly improved from a musical point of view although is it i mean this is a very heavy going song like i said there's no light in this whatsoever it's just coming to terms with with age with harrowing things happening in life and he's spoken now more than once about ending his own life so Listen, we don't know. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Kaleidoscope, love. Yeah, that is you and me. But I like the nights when we leave the canvas free. Grab a brush and see where the feeling may lead. I keep falling. So we've got the Unchained Melody piano behind this. This, this is the head I can't stand, to be honest. Super cheesy, terrible concept that's been stretched like that Joker and a Thief song, I think it was. One of the worst songs ever. Um, this, yes, no, 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 no. You in your eyes, maybe we'll just paint the night colorblind, brighter than white. Just make it stop, Ed. Please make it stop. Make it stop. There's only one colorblind song, and that is Darius. Rest in peace to Darius. Let's forget this song exists. Can you pull the curtains? Let me see the sunshine. Hide and see. I'm somewhere closed away. You won't believe how long it's been since I started to get talk about that. Inside, you say I always hold back and I always will on sleep. Is it in your childhood? Something happened in the your past with the sadness. Here I promise curtains, let me see the sunshine. I think I'm done with my hiding place. And you found me anyway. Tips. Slightly worried about the rest of this album now. Feel like we might be going in an extremely schmaltzy direction. Extremely equalsy direction. This is just oh, so middle of the road, man. Let me see the sun pull the curtains. Let me see the sun shine. I think I'm done with my ah. hiding place. And you uh, this is piss. Anyway. Sadness always finds an end. And the blackbirds they fly like a frown on the skyline. I feel I'm running from the light and gold in darkness, shielded from my eyes. Cause 
I should take this on the chin But I don't even know how all of this began You're so blind Waiting on the borderline Much better much better again somber beautiful heartfelt um i really feel like this track actually could do with like um, aaron Dessen singing on it in in that low register of his to to sort of combine and harmonize well with ed up high i think it would just give the song an extra bit of gravitas like the way that the you know some of the songs with taylor and him worked the tracks like this you can't really complain they're just sort of excellent examples of stripped back laid bare songwriting we've been lost for a long time in a rut no escape signs and for love we were so blind Band-aid over deeper cuts we tried We couldn't stop the fate descending on the night We'll build a fire and torch our own life Yeah, solid strip back pop song this one Very good, Aaron Dessner with the piano like a hand that's trying to hold the water back Couldn't stop the ocean leaking in the cracks Use words as kindling Light up the night sky Let the memories take flight Oh, na na We'll bring it back We'll bring it back Our love's no illusion The high we go Yeah, not a track that I'm going to be spinning all the time, but a perfectly acceptable, perfectly enjoyable, paired back pop song that harks back to old Ed Sheeran. And you really feel that Aaron Dessner production going all the way through with the piano. Some of these songs need his voice on as well, you know? So that contrast between the two voices, I think, would work really well, but doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Right, this next track is called Vega. I don't know if it's named after the Street Fighter boss. I hope so. I'm going to assume it is. Rain keeps beating on the roof. Top muddying the glass, but God, I love the sound of heaven. Fighting the tide, but the waves they will part. Is that him there in the lower register? Light up the night we were Maybe. One door closes, then one opens. Gotta keep the focus. If we'll believe, then she'll get better. The days are long, but they pass within an instant, babe. No one can judge me the same in the dark. Yeah, similar to the last track, just kind of it's kind of there, but it's fine, isn't it? Album tracky. Same problems, different options. Pain comes at a cost, but we got this. Rain keeps beating on the rooftop, worrying to death. But mm, I just kind of like this chorus. I'm gonna kick back in. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Listen, I don't think we're gonna get. Maybe not anyway, any more of those like completely heart laid bare, confessional, putting everything on the table type of tracks we had earlier on in the album. But these kind of like album me tracks, they're while relatively forgettable, so much more enjoyable, so much more serviceable than what we've had from Ed over the last few years. You know, if this is on, it's not going to upset my ears there's only a couple of tracks on here that made me want to you know snap my own legs that's a big plus as far as i'm concerned and some of these tracks are genuinely very strong genuinely okay a few tracks to go there's a bunch of bonus tracks but we're just going to end it with the way the, the normal album ends sycamore in the summer bearing leaves right now in the waiting room emotions running wild worried about my lover and i'm worried about her child part of me was always in denial it's gonna take a little while we are glorious sycamore bringing shade from eating sun waiting on professionals to tell you how it is what's he gonna say after i think you better sit brace yourself something's about to hit it's gonna take a little while in the story, love and love out. You and me. 
Yeah, a pretty beautiful track, seemingly about um, his wife who was diagnosed with a tumour when uh, she was pregnant with her second child. And, you know, seemingly it was all fine in the end, but obviously uh, a serious ordeal for them all to go through as a family. Just quite a beautiful song filled with imagery. I don't think Ed has, is the best when it comes to imagery. I don't think that, uh, you know, he, he lacks some of the true sort of artful, poetic writing of some of the great singer-songwriters and some of the great songwriters of our time um, in terms of lyrics, but I still think that was, uh, yeah, a strong track. And like I say, you can just actually feel the authenticity on this album, and that's why it connects. If we make it through this year Then nothing can break us We tear our hair out and overthink it Work and get burnt out But this is no Strings, you are who I love Rarified atmosphere Till now we have made it change When we're falling apart Yeah, this is no Strings, you are who I love It's just growing pains I guess we've got enough reason Every time that we have come undone I'll say it's no strings You are who I love Again, much like the previous track, it's very similar feels very real. A sad song, but, you know, ultimately, apart from obviously what happened uh, with Jamal and everything, but seemingly everything with his wife has, has, has been fine. They had their second child and everything's fine. So, you know, you have that kind of, like, happy ending, I guess. So while the songs are sad um, and you can understand what they've been going through as a, as a family, you really do connect with that authenticity, or at least I do anyway, and that elevates all the elements of a song for starters. And then you couple in the fact that it's not super overproduced, super schmaltzy in the same way. Don't get me wrong, it's schmaltzy, especially some of it. And Aaron Destin is just better at making music than the people who produced his previous albums, in my opinion. I mean, we could try and get more technical than that, but you don't really need to. The Hills of Aberfeldy. Um, okay, he's going Irish on this final track. Oh, I long for you to be the one that I'm holding And warm me down to my bones You could be holding somebody else's close When I'm home I'll hold you like I'm supposed to I'll hold you like I'm supposed to Yet I know that I have never told you Wherever I go, I will always find Okay, well, hell of a lot better than Galway Girl, but... I mean, yeah, it just always sounds a little bit weird to me. I mean, I can't complain, man. Listen, there's plenty on that album that I will never want to listen to again. And honestly, I don't know if I will listen to the album again because the good songs made me feel sad. But much better. Much better. And honestly, despite everything that uh, he's clearly been through, you know, at least everything is, is well with his immediate family. Proving, though that he still has it as a songwriter, still has it as somebody who can create compelling and authentic music. And when he's not trying to chase Beatles records, or maybe he's beaten all the records now so he can get back to um, sort of connecting with some sort of soul in his music again. Um, it'd be interesting to hear what he does next. You know, all of his music, this will inevitably go number one and millions of songs, all the songs, millions of songs, all the songs from it will like dominate the charts in the UK as he always does, his head. But um, yeah, just get Aaron Destin on more records, I guess, and get him to come and fix my mic stand as well. Guys, this is Uncut on Patreon. Uh, if you're new around here, please do subscribe. Um, I don't think I'm going to get too much hate from the Ed Sheeran fans on this one, unlike the last one, but you know, welcome. Comments, likes on the video, or dislikes. If you didn't like it, that's fine too. And um, yeah, we will see you very soon on the next one and uh, hopefully you'll join us on streams as well. All right, peace.